Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a canvas using HTML5 canvas API and how we can draw on it. So let's get started. As you can see, I have already have my project created and running on localhost 3000. To begin, I'll first create a folder called component and here I'm going to store all my components which I'm going to create. Inside this, I'm first going to create my drawing canvas component initialize its JS file and its CSS file now back in drawing canvas.js I'm going to create my component which will return a header for now saying hello world I'm going to export this save it go back to app.js I'm going to remove the original code and import our drawing canvas here remove the unwanted imports and save this as you can see hello world we can see here now let's go back to our component here and remove this header and import a canvas here to assign some style to this canvas i'm going to add a class here saying canvas container i'm going to copy paste this class go back to dot css file of drawing canvas and let's assign some data here let's say a height of 500 pixels to our canvas uh, with 500 pixels and a border of <coughs> let's say 2 pixels solid black now before assigning this height and width I'm going to first comment this let's save and see what happens oh um, I need to import slash drawing canvas dot css if i save as you can see i already have a canvas here and if i inspect on it go down here you can see it has a height of 150 pixels so default default width of the canvas container is 300 pixels width and 150 pixels height so i want custom width and custom height so i'm going to change this and i'm going to assign a width of 500 pixels and a height of 500 pixels Let's go back to drawing canvas.js. Now I need a particular reference to this container so that we can assign the uh, size of the drawing surface for this uh, container. So let's create a reference for this canvas, call it canvas ref. I'm going to use the use ref hook for this. Assign the value null initially. Uh, use ref is not defined, so let's import use ref from react now to save this yeah assign this reference to this canvas object canvas ref now let's assign the size of the drawing surface for this canvas so i'm going to use the use effect hook here and i'm going to assign a empty dependency error so that it gets run only once here I am going to get the canvas ref and I am going to assign a width of 500 and a height of 500 so what I have done is here is I have assigned 500 width and height here as well as 500 width and height here so that my drawing surface gets one is to one mapped with the canvas container okay now I want to have another reference name it context ref again use ref null so what this context ref is going to point to is the context of this canvas so context basically provides us the ability it provides us methods and properties so that we can draw on the surface of the canvas so how do we get the context of a canvas uh, I'm going to say const context is equal to canvas dot get context 2d so basically I have the uh, reference to the surface of the canvas container and now I can use this context properties uh, to assign how my line will look on this particular canvas 
So for this, I'm going to say context dot line cap is equal to round. I'm going to use another function as well, which will define the color of my line. And lastly, I'm going to define the line width of my line. Now I want to add this context to a reference so that I can use it at other places also. So my context ref will point to this context. And we are done. Uh, our canvas is set up, our context is set up, and now we can draw on a canvas. So now we need three functions to draw on a canvas. One would be to start the drawing on the canvas, one would be to draw on a canvas, and one would be to stop the drawing on a canvas. So I'm going to create three functions const start drawing, const draw, and const stop drawing for us. Now I want to when these three functions should run. So my start drawing should run when I have pressed my mouse button. So it should be on mouse down. I want to start drawing. When my mouse is moving, so on mouse move, I want to draw the line. And on mouse up, that is when I have released my mouse, I want to stop drawing. Also, I'm going to create a is drawing variable here, which will have a particular state of false. Basically, this tells whether we are actually drawing on the canvas or not. Where, how are we going to use it? I'm going to show you using these functions. And how is it? How is this variable useful for us? So first, let's work on the start drawing function. So when I draw, when I press my mouse button, it would uh, trigger an event. I'm going to call it native event. And I'm going to get the mouse position when that button was pressed. So offset X and offset Y of this native element. So this offset X and offset Y provides us the position of the mouse with respect to the canvas container. So that's why I have used offset X and offset Y. Now I'm going to use the context to draw on our canvas. So I'm going to say begin the path for me and then move the context to this particular location of offset X and offset Y. Once you have moved the context, create a line for me on this particular position and put a stroke there so that I'm able to see the line. Now, since we have started drawing, I want to set my is drawing variable to true and I don't want to perform the native function which mouse down would have performed. So I'm going to say that native event dot prevent default so that the default function of mouse down is not performed. And now I'm going to go to draw function here. We are going to check if we are drawing or not. And if we are not drawing, we are going basically going to return. So why we have done this is suppose I have not pressed my mouse and I am just moving my mouse here. So I don't want to draw, right? So in that case, we are checking if we are actually drawing or not. And if we are not drawing, we're just basically going to return from this function and we are not going to draw a line here. So that's why we have created this variable is drawing and it's used here. Now let's suppose we were actually drawing. So what do we want to do is we again want to create a line at this function and we want to create a stroke. For this, we will need the native event and the location of that event. And lastly, I don't want to perform the default function of mouse move. So I'm going to call native event of prevent default. Lastly, I want to stop the drawing when I have released the mouse. So in that case, I'm going to say Please close the path for me. So context ref dot current dot close path. And I'm going to say set is drawing to false. And uh, I need to change this spelling to on mouse move up. Let's go and test if it's working. And as you can see, it's working properly. Now, if you notice one thing, if I go and move my mouse outside and if I 
release my mouse and if I bring it back inside it is still drawing so why is this happening is when I have left the surface that is on mouse leaf my is drawing is still set to true I have released my mouse outside so on mouse up is not triggered for my canvas and when I go back inside my drawing is still true and so this function runs so this function is still running when I am moving my mouse inside since I have released my mouse outside the canvas and not inside so what we also want to do is that when we leave the canvas at that point also we want to stop drawing let's save this and try it out again once it's working like this and if I go out come back in so now it's working properly for us. So in this video we learned how we can create lines or draw on canvas. In the next video I'm going to show you how we can create the erase functionality for canvas. Thank you.